I thought Olds were terrific today. You know, right, right across the park, they got off to a to a substantial lead. You know, three three penalty kicks over halfway. So you know, they they certainly came to play, which we knew they would, and they controlled the scoreboard. They controlled field position certainly in that first half. But you know, I think full credit to the to the Munster team, the way they came back and fought back to 19-10 and again get six points there at the end. But certainly from 19 to 22 was certainly a big dint in what we we're trying to achieve to do. It's very disappointing, you know. I mean, I don't know if we ever started a game like that in, in all the time I've been involved uh, with Munster, you know, just to go 19-0 down. Um, such a short period of time. Um, just left us with so much to do left us with an awful lot to do and give them a lot of belief. I thought certainly 19 points to, to come back from that in no matter what sort of wind you're running into is, is difficult but I certainly thought the way we came back in the second half to get to 19-13 if we just showed a little bit more composure there, you know, a little bit more intensity and, and, and really continue to work hard to make them come up because I thought they scrambled exceptionally well. You know, I thought we, you know, we played field position well in the beginning of the first half, got ourselves back in there but Unfortunately, you know, uh, some ball turned over through good work of theirs. Um, you know, certainly stifled us at the back end. We got that 10 points before half time. Um, started the second half pretty well. You know, with a lot of intensity in what we were doing, but uh, you know, we just weren't making the inroads we would have liked. To. And fair play to them; their defence was good. Uh, we continued to make a few mistakes and a few errors, which would relieve the pressure and. Um, um, you know, as I said, I think I think we probably had enough to get over the the 19 <coughs> points. We just weren't accurate enough with the ball. I think they scrambled exceptionally well. They worked hard on on the inside, and also, you know, they're, they're double players on the inside defensively. They they track back exceptionally well. You know, you saw Jonathan get back there a couple of times from front row, and uh, you know that's that's a real sign of a side that's you know hungry and. Got a huge belief, not that we lacked any, but I said, you know, the way they, they rolled out of the breakdown, the way they put pressure, they stayed on their feet, they came two or three times uh, from their single relayer into the tackle, and that really disrupted our, you know, ability to be able to get some depth and come onto it. We ended up stationary a lot of times, and that, that really fed into their hands. I've never been on a team that's gone 19 points behind in a Heineken Cup game. Well, I don't think I have with Munster, you know, and that. I suppose that comes with experience, I suppose, and uh, we need to make better decisions and, and, and play our cup rugby and have that cup rugby mentality which Munster teams have had in the past and we've had in the knockout stages, you know, we've, 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 we've played some clever rugby like that, but, you know, I have to obviously hold my hands up, I'd, you know, some silly penalties, particularly in the first half, but, you know, you just can't beat yourself and we probably beat ourselves a lot at the start of the game there, you know, conceding penalties, they were knocking them over and not taking away anything from Ulster there. Defence was excellent, they took their opportunities really well, but um, we just need to be that little bit more clever um, and, and that's a vital part of the game, you know, is, is not beating yourself, you know, and that's what, that's what we didn't do in the past and that's what we've done once or twice in the last few years. You know, there's there's a, a very sombre dressing room that you have there. So look, we, we'll have to re regroup. The the nature of professional sport doesn't allow you anything but that. So you know, it's up to certainly the management, the senior players, to get to make sure that we we bounce back. We're still in another competition, and you know, we've got two home games and one away. So you know, certainly you know allows us the opportunity to to continue. You know, a finish of the season positive. Being I Cup had a fantastic win on Friday night, so that's something for the for the whole squad to get in behind. You know, it has been it has been tough losing certain guys, um, but I think the guys that have come in have done really well, and uh, we learn from these experiences. You know, we if, if you do nothing from these, you have to learn and you have to get better. If you don't do that, you may as well throw your hat from hat at it. So I mean, there'll be it's going to be a very tough few weeks for us, but hopefully these few weeks will stand to us in the coming years as these these young players that are coming through do come through.